Hey guys and welcome Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. We are here for you. Let's jump right in and see what messages we got for you this week. God, universe, angels, spirit, guys, and sisters. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the sign of Virgo. For Virgo, what messages do we have for Virgo? Good times, proposal, destiny. Then we got money under that and family. Uh, that seems good, Virgo. We got marriage coming up. That's the same card Leo had right there. Same exact spot. Prosperity. Children. So either you got this on your mind about somebody that you're destined to be with. You want to have, you want to marry them. You know, you can feel like that's, that's prosperity and you want to have children. Or something. We're going to get into what this is exactly. What do we got for Virgo? God, universe, angels, spirit, gods, and angels. Messages for Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo? Virgo. No place like home is what you're realizing, so it's time to co create and dive deep in your feelings. Be flexible. And this, did you have this over the weekend? You still got this on your mind. Okay. First card out is not for you. So, should have been some type of marriage or something that you, some person that you, I don't know. Let's see. Why? An orphaned. Uh, maybe you felt left out. There's, there's some, some of you could have been, are dealing with a situation where um, you felt left out in the cold as a child. Okay, and you're realizing that maybe you married or had a commitment with somebody that really is not for you, and the only reason that you ended up choosing this type of person is because what happened to you as a child. So it just kind of shaped your whole vision. That's for somebody. Okay, tell me about this marriage card for Virgo. Why is marriage here for Virgo? Excuse me. Excuse me, tell me about marriage for Virgo. Why is marriage here for Virgo? Tell me about this marriage card for Virgo. The lovers and a new perspective, and then we got ten of swords. You letting the tower fall, Virgo. You cutting out something to do with some marriage, or it was a marriage, or something at some point. With it's, it didn't do anything but stress you out. It looks like, but that's coming to an end with the ace and the nine. That's a ten of swords. It's still on the bottom. You're finding some type of truth or clarity out here when it comes to a marriage about possibly. Oh, okay, maybe it's a separation. This is the Ten of Pentacles here, but it's broken down to a four and a six. Somebody's holding back that they're possibly giving to two in a situation, but clarity is coming out, bringing this to an end. Tell me about, you know, with the Empress. Who's giving the two? Or maybe somebody held themselves back from something prosperous. Tell me, the Empress just flipped over here. I don't know. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Oh, you gained clarity about the Empress. Let's put her back. Yep. This is exactly what it is. Because look, you gained clarity about the Empress. And now you're closing out a cycle. 
what you thought and headed to what you know now. Prosperity. You realize that whatever it was was not for you. You don't understand why, though. Tell me about prosperity. Sometimes why is not for us to understand, Virgo. Tell me about prosperity. Yeah. Not being enough. Just a second. Tell me about prosperity. King of Pentacles. This is some tricky shit here. You don't understand why this is happening, Virgo. Prosperity. Then we got the emperor on the bottom of the deck. That's why. Because you're the emperor. That's why this is happening. Because you got an empress you're supposed to be with. And the empress is not the person that you married. The person that you married is not for you because the empress is for you. That's where your prosperity lies. That's you, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a.k.a. the emperor. But... For some reason, you were closed off to your prosperity. You left the empress out in the cold. You left her waiting while you bit, went back dabbling up in the, whatever this marriage was. Same thing Leo got. You got Leo on your chart. Or Leo got Virgo on the chart. Something. Tell me about these children. Six of Cups. King of Cups. Tell me about children. Justice. Yeah, some type of justice happening. You gave a children. You gained a new perspective around this connection. Now you're gonna balance it out. Prince of Swords with the Six of Cups. Children. Oh, this is starting something new. Oh, okay. You see the perception, perspective, and now you want to start something new here with this empress. Following your intuition because before you held yourself back. You had love, but you held yourself back and left the empress out in the cold. But now you gain a new perspective that this is not for you. Now you can move accordingly. Okay. Tell me about the not for you for Virgo. The past. The past is not for you, Virgo past keeps you stagnated when the times when you need to be an emperor you need to be an emperor you need to be getting to this empress so how can you do that if you're stagnated looking back at the past you are the emperor virgo I keep telling you you got to get to you got to get you got to get to your empress you got to offer her love how are you going to do that if you're not closing the cycle with who's not for you how are you going to get to what really makes you happy if you don't close the cycle it's because you don't understand why Maybe you're not happy with the results here. Tell me about why here for Virgo. Why is why here? You don't understand. So you stuck at a crossroad. You don't understand why. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um... But there's a tower here, and there's some confusion, but there's also truth cutting through the confusion. This ace of swords that you find out up here is what causes this tower for you because you've been sitting at a crossroad, and here goes the truth cutting through, and you can't understand why. Some truth coming out about possibly a Capricorn, uh, some disappointment and some emotional fulfillment and your intuition or Pisces, and you're going to go off and offer some love because you're finding out what the truth is. Tell me about this ace of swords. Capricorn's title was definitely God shine the light and now nobody can hide. Tell about the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Yep. There it is. You chasing down this love that you want to heal. Higher level of commitment that you want to have. Taking action as the divine masculine towards this connection. Why? Because whatever this truth is sends you packing. Whatever this truth is, you put an end to everything. It's over. It's finito. It's finished. Whatever the truth is, it gives you courage. And you go right in to get the empress that you left out in the cold. Tell me about orphaned. I don't know what the truth is. Maybe if somebody was having an equal give and take behind your back here. That's what it looked like up there. Yeah. Now you ain't. You see clearly because you come out of disappointment crying over spilled milk of the past. So you can see that you motherfucking got left out in the cold or something. All right, what? Tell me about the orphan card. Yeah, that's 
communication about deception coming in that puts you in your mind. Now it's the reconciliation and apology on your mind and putting the work in. Because guess what? Somebody was in a relationship having an equal give and take somewhere else. Now you ready to take a leap. But what it was is you left the empress out in the cold waiting. While you held back waiting on some kind of something to do with this marriage. You was waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Disappointed, waiting. But now apparently I guess you ain't waiting no more because five of cups reversed and orphans. You done left this marriage out in the cold. You left it out in the cold, but you also left out in the cold waiting on this marriage and holding back from this empress. You're going to communicate about the deception, about the trap in your head. Well, you better. That's your best bet, to be honest. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Yeah, eight of pentacles. You was holding back from putting work. You was holding back that you was putting work into a marriage, giving and taking somewhere else. Because you wanted to see that grow. You wanted to move forward there. You want to stand up and fight there, but you got your heart broke. Because the competition didn't give a damn about you, Virgo. This person you was married to didn't give a damn about you. They was getting it back in blood. That's what this damn song was saying. Oh, that wasn't even your reading, was it? Was that your reading and I started singing Pooh Shiesty? It was somebody's reading. Either it was yours or Leo's. Well, somebody's getting it back in blood in this motherfucker. Maybe they wasn't. They was getting it back in tears. But somebody was playing a dirty game basically is what it seems to be here because you're supposed to be the emperor with the empress how the hell you still tangled up in the ex marriage or some shit like that it's a dirty game being played out here and i don't i'm about to pull another little time is it 12 minutes we're about to help you out virgo you gotta get some clarity this week they won't tell me what the clarity is because I asked, but it's some clarity coming in for you. What other messages can we give to Virgo to help them out through the week? Messages to Virgo to help them through the week. It's going to be the week you apologize to the Empress, Virgo. You know you do a lot of thinking and no doing. No offense to you. That'd be that Virgo shit. Yeah, you get your thoughts. You think it out, you got a good plan, and then boom. You get to thinking, 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 you didn't thought yourself out the good ass plan you had. Here we go. What we got for Virgo? Oh, this one stayed on the bottom. Look, emotional fulfillment. And look, you're gonna be healed. It's something about healing that you want to do. You healing. You healing something. Ten of Cups, you emotionally fulfilled. It's something that emotionally fulfills you, so you're walking away from something that doesn't emotionally fulfill you. Something that was a bad decision anyway with the Five of Swords that mentally conflicted you. Maybe even most, yeah, manipulated you is what it was. Kept secrets from your ass. Emotionally fulfillment you was with somebody else. Now you're going to try to go get to Karma Waters with your emotional fulfillment after being stuck at a crossroads between emotional fulfillment with the Empress in the past. Now you're wanting to take any, uh, action as the King of Wands. Take action against your ego or other people. I don't know what's this, but um, the Queen of Pentacles. There's that Capricorn, eh? Or a Taurus or another Virgo. Or this is the Divine Masculine going to get a Cap uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn woman. But I don't feel like that. I feel like somebody's taking action to, to, to stand guard, to, to stand up towards this, whoever this non-Empress non lady is. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, the person that kept you trapped in your head. The one that played games kept you waiting on this marriage here. Yeah, the one you now great tell you taking a leap of faith. You, uh, you want to get another chance because you you up now through with the tower and you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to have something new with this queen of swords who cut you out. It was probably the empress. Yes, she cut you out because you left her out in the cold, left her waiting on a collaboration, and it just caused her stagnation. She decided to move forward because she gonna grow. She ain't going to be stagnated. So she's guarded towards you now. But I think the biggest thing for you, Virgo, is you just can't understand why. Why is it happening like this? Why? But it's not meant for you to understand. It's just meant for you to go with the flow. Like... We don't make the rules here. God does. The universe does. It's crazy. Just roll with it. What we got for Virgo from the Romance Angels? 
what, what message is for Virgo? Do we have any romance angels? God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors. Messages from the romance angels. For Virgo. Attraction. There's an attraction. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like you're going to be coming in here, Virgo, flirting with somebody, trusting the situation because the chemistry is there. You don't know why, but you're going to be forgiving and learning because you thought this was unrequited love. But you had to love yourself first to see what the fuck love was, right? And through loving yourself, you begin to notice the rag flags of that marriage and actually realize that where your true love was. And at that time... You release the ex to go to new love where you've been separated from and you can express your love and I do feel like you uh, religious factors may have held you back for quite a while but you ain't gonna let that hold you back no more because time things has changed Virgo and you can't understand why but you know they are because God showed you directly himself that's the only way you believe in it yep now you're going to another marriage huh same thing you said you wasn't ever gonna do marriage and retreat now you want to have a commitment, something long term, possibly even a real marriage. Okay, you're retreating with this with this empress. You gotta make the effort. Oh yeah, you gotta make the effort. You stand optimistic about your love life. Engagement. Yep, you might be proposing. That fell right under the wedding. You might be proposing. Yep, and honeymoon with the retreat. You definitely proposing, Virgo, because you realize you deserve love and your passion lies with this person. And you, and maybe your children, it says children is affecting your love life. But you are calling in your soulmate very soon. You're going to be reconciling, okay, with a past life lover. So we'll do you a favor and see about this. Um, tell me about the children affecting your father, your inner child wounded. Inner child wounding. Unless you didn't got the competition pregnant. I mean, it's some type of inner child wounding. But I feel like what it was, I don't know if you're still dealing with this or you realized it, but inner child wounding is getting left out in the cold, okay? And because it has, now you're coming out your mind because you started healing your, your past life, your, your childhood. You're moving past that. You're moving past your codependencies. Now, you're moving past your childhood wounding, and now you can see codependency instead of love. Tell me about codependency. For Virgo. Yeah. You're closing the cycle of a marriage, Virgo. A codependent marriage at that. This ain't love. This is codependency. Yep, Queen of Swords reverse. You don't want her walking away. This is this is not love. It's codependency. It's dishonesty. It's manipulation. It's selfishness. And all it does is keep you stagnated. It's a real collaboration out there for you. Yeah, but that's also what happens when you put the Empress in a third party situation. No offense to you. But that's what I got for you, Virgo. And I do hope it helped you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Remember, if you don't like the real, you won't like it here. Namaste. Peace.